now that i'm able to send uh, messages periodically send messages on message and i'm able to send message on key right uh, we have tried a small uh, example uh, of a simulation so we've tried to simulate a small ecu and then so as of now we've only seen python code for sending and receiving what we've not seen is the python code for a tester node so like how in vector you have the in kenoi you have the uh, test environment where you can actually go and uh, provide a kepel script or a vxt script for testing your uh, simulated ecu this python tools api also provides a tester node right so here he basically creates loads the dbc file creates a canvas element and then creates a tester node and then you can actually start checking on the tester node uh, using the tester node what's the value on the bus and then you could actually use j uh, the unit testing framework of python for doing assert and then you can actually generate html reports right so i have got one example which goes until the generation of the html report using python and uh, yeah so uh, i'm i'm just going to do that so this is an introduction to tester nodes in python it allows you to actually create a tester node and uh, it has two methods it has so you have to first start the tester node and then you have two methods the check so normally we do the check or the send right so tester dot expect is to expect a value and tester dot send is to send a value so i i've got a more uh, elaborate example showing you this properly this is just a sample code right i can actually um okay so i'm just going to go to my can example folder here okay so i have um okay what have i tried to do here okay so i've tried to create this simulation based on whatever we've learned so far so we have an engine the engine is sending out a message every 1 second with the engine status which basically includes the speed of the engine so it keeps sending out the speed right and then we have another tester node which is trying to send out an engine control message with the new speed so the tester node sends out a new speed value which is like if somebody is accelerating the car the new speed goes out and gets received by the engine and then engine updates its speed and that is the new message that you see on the bus so we are validating if the message that we have sent from here is received and is it updated here so i've got a tester node which sends and checks so now if i go back to my code here right I, this is my mode engine dot so this is my engine simulation right it's pretty straight like how we were talking about it basically sends a message it sends out a message 0 comma 0 when i start the engine the speed of the engine is 0 and it sends it out every 1 second and then it's got a receive code whenever it receives a message 0x011 it reads the speed on this message and updates the speed of the engine using the modified data and then whenever the speed reaches ff ff the car, the, the engine comes to a halt right so i am now executing this code okay i'll also show you the tester.py so the tester.py actually does what we are talking about so it actually first expects the speed of motor status it should be 0 then changes the motor control speed to 50 so it improves the speed to 50 then again checks if the speed of the car is 50 then sets the speed to 0 checks if the speed is 0 and then finally checks sets the speed to ff so that the engine comes to a halt right so i am first going to run the motor.py so my engine is currently running 
right if you see that in the can dump it's sending out 00 every 1 second to tell you that the engine speed is zero at the moment then i go to my tester node and i run my tester node and if you see here it's actually sending out different speeds so first it sent out 50 then it sent out 0 then it sent out 65535 and it stopped because that was ff and if you see on the bus from 0 011 sent out a speed of 32 it was received by 010 message which is my engine and the speed got updated to 32 then my motor control sent out 00 my engine received it updated the speed to 0 and then the motor control sent out a speed ff the engine received it and stopped it didn't move further so this is like a simple tester node which is simulating data on to your is sending simulated data on to your ecu in my case the ecu it's also simulated so uh, this could be a, a good uh, place where you could write your test cases and generate a html report and uh, for people who tried out robot framework internally the robot framework also for python tries to uses the tester node right okay there are other apis available but most of the framework that's uh, developed on robot framework uh, currently uses the tester node concept so you are actually wrapping robot framework on top of this right good so that's basically an example of um can issue ecu simulation and testing using python right and this currently does not generate the html report it it just runs and stops the next thing that we are to see is so we now know if i go back here yeah so we've seen how to send and receive we've seen how to load the dbc we've seen how how to encode and decode uh, the message using dbc then we've seen an ecu simulation where we had cyclic then we had on key then we had on message examples and then we finally saw how to test a simulated ecu with a tester node right the next part